Yep. After hiatus of after a hiatus of about four weeks, we're back to reviewing the Simpsons. The Simpsons. And we, um, I think we've picked a great one to um, to launch back into it. Well, not picked, obviously, they're in order. But this is a great episode, brother. We're at Val. Yes. Which which episode? I believe we're on twenty seven, okay. possibly twenty eight. Okay. Uh, obviously, it's still in season two. Still going through season two. Very near the end. Near the end now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Not long left. No. Uh, so, this episode, uh, Homer's dad, Abraham, has a heart attack, a mild heart attack. A heart tremor. Heart tremor. Yeah. Yep. Um, and he's a bit to hospital. Just in case he dies, he's had, had some life affirmation. He wants to admit some secrets to Homer. Yep. Um, Reveals that before he got married to Homer's mum, uh, he slept with a prostitute. <laughs> like a carnival working a carnival, prostitute. A carnival working prostitute who'd do things for him that um, uh, his girlfriend wouldn't, including sleep, uh, with, sleep, sleep with him for sex. Well, so, I was surprised that is how consistent the character design of his mother is. Oh, yes, that's true, actually. Yeah, Even yeah. at this point, she still basically looks exactly the same as the one eventually played by Glenn Close. Yes, yes, no, it's true that, yeah. Um, it's not very it's rare you see that kind of consistency throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Even Carl isn't as consistent. Carl. Carl who was white at one point. Oh yes. Um, so yeah, so she so he sleeps with this carnival prostitute. Um, <laughs> and then like a year later, uh, she's given birth to a little baby who we give away to the Shelbyville orphanage. Yep. Uh, and then year about a year later, Abe gets married to Homer's mum, and then they have Homer and the rest of his history. Yes. Um, so Homer goes on a quest to find his brother. Uh, finds his brother living in uh, Michigan. Michigan. Detroit is. Detroit, yeah, Detroit. Um, and he finds out his brother is actually a millionaire. Yes. Owner of a successful but slightly ailing uh, motor. Yeah, uh, Powell car, Motors. Powell Motors, yeah, like a car factory. Yeah. Um, and shenanigans ensue as the proves reconnect and Homer single handedly brings down his company. Yes, Home, he. Um, Basically, they think they're alienated because they don't understand America. Homer's an American, so Herb says, You designed me a car. Herb is voiced by um, <laughs> horrible man troll, uh, Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Who is uh, most, most famous for playing Penguin in Batman Returns and being a, a cast member of the show Taxi. And it's all selling in Philadelphia. Exactly. He is about five foot tall. Directed yes. Matilda. He directed, he's a, also a director. <laughs> He's a hideous looking, <laughs> horrible troll of a man. <laughs> yes. Aww. Anyway, no, enough of bashing um, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito. Um, what did you think of Brother, Oh Brother, Where At Thou? This is a very good episode. It's better than the Coen Brothers and film of the same name. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Yes. Um, so, this is, um, I think this is probably the second best episode so far. Oh yeah. I would say this after, um, what's the one, uh, the way we were, or way we was. The, the, the one the where way they go, we, the way we were. The way we were, yes. Yeah. The one where they go back to them as um, newly in high school. Yes. So I think it's the second best after that. It's fun. Oh no, I've, I've said it to um, the, the garage one, three eyes and every fish is better. Yeah. But I think this one's... Um, this is quite high ranking. It's quite high ranking. It's yeah. quick. It's fast paced. Uh, it's hilarious. Yes. The eventual, um, I think it builds and builds and builds. So you've got the comedy of that line where he's like, um, and she would do her sex with me for money. <laughs> and it just gets funnier and funnier and yeah. funnier as it goes along. Because it builds in the intensity. Builds on a very dark ending note. Yes. Where Homer fucks up everything and the company goes out of business. Herb loses his house and... Uh, he goes, oh gee, Herb, I'm sorry I messed up your, your business. And he's like, as far as I'm concerned, I have no brother. Yes, Herb goes back to, basically Herb loses everything due to being too open to Homer. Yeah. So um, he resents having Homer as a and as, as Lisa says, uh, uh, Herb was a success until he found out he was a Simpson. Yes. I think this um, episode is actually quite... Um, <laughs> I think it's meant to be like a satire of that idea, especially in the 90s, of like, anyone can do it. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And like, yeah. Um, he's a common man's the one with the best ideas. Tell like Barton Fink. Yes, exactly. A common man. 
Well, that kind of attitude apparently is quite prevalent in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Anyone, anyone can design a car, anyone could be a big businessman. A time of like economic success and yeah, anyone yeah. can worm the way in and... Yes. It's not the best episode about that, that would be um, one of your favourites, Homer's Enemy. Oh yeah. Which is basically, which yes. is similar to this in that it places Homer in a real life context. Yeah. So this is him being placed in the, in the idea of uh, designing a car yeah. and it has a realistic consequence. If this was like the cartoony Simpsons, it would have ended with the car being a big success. Yes, yes, and Homer would take over and he'd become like a rich arsehole and yes. he'd kick his brother out and yeah. Yeah, that's sort of like the um, the more stereotypical ending would be that. Mm. But no, this is a great ending. It's got um, cynicism, but also a bit of hope. When because uh, essentially he wins Bart's approval by doing that. Yes, yes, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which in a way caps it off because it, it begins with a father talking to his son, and ends with the stakes being about a father and son. Yes, yes. That ends it quite well. Yeah, it ends it quite well. Just a really solid. Episode of television. Yes, yes, no, very, very good episode. Uh, so it's a minor classic. Yes, a minor classic. Uh, I remember this one also pretty well. Yeah, same. Yeah. Just because it had Danny DeVito in, and I remember yeah, his yeah. character. Yeah. I remember it more from the second one. Was a tramp to it. Yes, I, I remember that one more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he he does return. Yes. He makes a return later on. Um, so yeah, no, it's a solid episode. I don't really have much. No. To say about it. It's one that most people have seen, I think. Yep, it's one most people have seen. Um, Danny DeVito, really, really good. Yes, yeah, a great performance. Yeah. He gives a great... He meshes really well into the sort of Simpsons universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's very theme-light. It's more... It's just, an, it's just a funny episode. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It's got, I love the bit where yeah. um, he's like... Um, you look like me, but with more there and less there. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got the opposites of each other. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Um, I, I like where uh, the guy does the opposite, you know, he's like basically he's rigging up Herb to complain about Homer and then Herb's like, I want you to call me back and just say the exact opposite of everything you just said. He's like, hey kids, listen to what your dad's got to say. <laughs> yeah. Homer Simpson is a brilliant man, a genius, and his personal hygiene is above reproach. <laughs> <laughs> I would give this actually a 10 out of 10. Ooh. As I say, third best so far for me after... I'd give it a 9 out of 10. 9. See, I just I didn't have any problems with it. I thought it was great. Oh, give it a nine. I don't think it's as deep as the other two. The satire is not as trenchant as Three Eyes and Every Fish, and uh, it's not as sweet as the way we were. Mm. But it's a, I think it's a really great episode. We'll give it a nine in the in the thing, but I think it's close to a ten. Yeah, a high nine. It's yes. a high nine for me. Okay. Yeah. Great episode.